town and runs up six flight of stairs, knocks on my best friend's girl, girlfriend's door in order to run off with her and elope because of, based on one crazy, thoughtless, inexplicably romantic night. So then why am I here, Audrey? I mean, I'm not passionate. I'm a fact checker for crying out loud. And the fact of me being here doesn't check out. I mean, it's nuts. Soulmates, I don't believe in them. I never have. I never have. So how can I be yours? I mean, the fact is that you hardly know me and I hardly even know you. Now your boyfriend, I've, I've known since, since kindergarten. Am I really willing to throw away all those years of friendship based on, based on what? A, a feeling? A, a intense, aching, gnawing, burning, torturing feeling that is telling me I must be with you or I will die a slow and terrible death as my heart slowly breaks into a thousand pieces? No, no, no. I, I mean, I'm... That's the kind of thing that happens in movies, and we are not in the movies. We are on McDougal Street, two blocks south of Bleecker. That is where we are. That is the indisputable geological fact, a solid, rational, clear, black and white fact. And all the facts are pointing to one thing. We can't do this. The, all the facts say I shouldn't be here. Because, because the fact is that you are in a relationship. Because the fact is that we just met yesterday. Because the fact is I'm not the type of person who falls in love. That's the fact. That is a cold, hard fact. And, and facts are supposed to be true. But the problem, the problem is, see, the problem is despite every fact I can muster, there's still something that doesn't check out. Because the truth is, despite all the facts to the contrary, I still love you madly. And it, and it just defies all logic, all reason, all morality, but it's true. I, I love you madly, and it's not like me, and I don't want to, but I can't help it. I'm yours, Audrey. I'm completely, totally, and utterly 